So what is a good name uh, story for me? Was I like born in a tomato patch? Yeah. Wait. Wait, tomatoes aren't patches, they're like vineyards or whatever. Yeah. Tomato vine? <laughs> I was born on a box of tomatoes. <laughs> Gross! That is possible! <laughs> Somebody in humanity has had that happen. Jamprov wants to know, how many Zelda games have you played? Um, probably all of them until like, after Twilight Princess. I, I, I kind of stopped caring after Wind Waker. And The Link Waker. Between Worlds. Yeah, I did play that one, yeah. I kind of stopped caring because the 3D ones didn't really interest me so much. Like, Twilight Princess just sort of killed me on it. Twilight Princess I didn't have a lot of fun with. And yeah. then I got really excited for Phantom Hourglass because I was like, Oh, it's a sequel to Wind Waker, like one of my favorites. But the game... Ah, oh, the Temple of the Ocean King. <laughs> I didn't like having to play that over and over again, so I don't really like Phantom Hourglass. No, neither of us played Skyward Sword. No. I heard that's possibly being gonna be HD soon, along with Twilight Princess. Toilet Princess. Toilet Princess. <laughs> that sounds like you said. <laughs> that's a really good, good name to call it. If we had to choose another food to be our name. What would it be? Mine would be curry. Darn it! <laughs> yours would be curry. How about yours I'd is red Tim, curry? I, I'd be Tim Curry. You're and you red can, curry. You can be green curry. So he does, he's saying the dongo doesn't like smoke. Yeah, I also, like, I have the spirit tracks. We own it. Do we? Som somehow. We still do? Yeah, we haven't sold it yet. Um, I, I have never played it. <laughs> I heard it's not good, so I don't know. Hello, Jaded Faith. Happy that you're here to catch us live. We're playing um, Zelda on the actual Famicom disc system. Yep. You guys can watch Colbert if you want, if he's on. He's cool. Hey, Dodongo! Oh, crap. I always suck it. It's even harder with this controller. What's that guy in The Princess Bride and he says you killed my father? Oh shoot, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Oh. Somebody... somebody answer. Is it that, that like... Mon... Yeah, it's that Spanish yeah. guy. Well, how do you pronounce it? I, was really I can I can hear I can hear his pronunciation in my head, but I can't hear the syllables. Mon Montonia. Yeah. Well, I wanted to make a joke where the Dodongo is like, I am El Dodongo. <laughs> <laughs> that turned into Chris Farley. Oh. <laughs> I am El Nino. <laughs> yeah. So apparently it's gonna be a big El Nino this year or something. Yeah. Oh, spirit tracks might be fun. Maybe I should. It's better than Phantom Hourglass. Huh. Well then. Maybe I should not sell it and try to play it. Whoa, that was weird. So what do you guys... What's what the likelihood that Nintendo will ever like retranslate this game? Retranslate? Yeah. None. A none will translate it? Well... I, I, I should have waited for the chat. But I don't think they'll do it, because at this point, it's so cemented in what everybody knows about Zelda. They're not going to fix their grammar issues. Yeah, that's funny. We got some issues. And they're not going to fix the bad hints and clues, either. I kind of want to make... Oh, you know what? That's going to be great. I'm going to do a stream now, where... As we're, we sit at the naming screen, right? And then, we'll for like two minutes, we'll let people type stuff in the chat. And then we'll start the game, and then like randomly, a bunch of those things people said will be the clues in the game as we as we play. Does that make sense? Yeah. People get them write the clues. Yeah, they did fix a couple of errors in the um, Game Boy Advance version. Two thousand three. Yeah. But, but not, not. They didn't they fix. They didn't those, do much. Yeah, I go into great detail about that in the book. <laughs> we tried to fix the translation. Another thing I didn't like about Phantom Hourglass, yeah, was the controls, where you had to um, use the touchpad to move that. Link around, so if the Spirit Tracks is the same thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> There's something I really don't like that about Nintendo, where they force those controls sometimes. Like Sky Skyward Sword, I'm, I don't really want to play it for that reason, too. Yeah, like, um, I played Twilight Princess first on the Wii, and I got really upset. <laughs> like what happens if I don't have arms? 
Ooh, good. Well, then you wouldn't have fingers to play the games. I've either. seen people play games with, like, you know, their feet oh. or their chin. Okay, well, they take that. There back. was this kid, like, at Star Fox com competition, Star Fox Weekend or whatever. He kind of just, like, put it on his chin and played it and he'd kick ass at it. Um, what am I doing now? Oh, I was gonna go that away, but I'm stuck this one over here now. Jaded Faith wants to know, what do we think about the Zelda Classic community and their fan games? I actually haven't played any. What is Zelda Classic? It's, it's um, you can make your own, like, custom Zelda levels. It's not, but it doesn't use the ROM or anything. So oh, it's interesting. Like, yeah, it's just all, mm. all from scratch. Oh, you died again. Hang on. <laughs> no, you know what? I should have just put, oh, I guess I couldn't because it's not a, not an emulator. Yeah, no save states. Oh, no, I was going to put, like, my hacky thing up. Oh. Well, you could do, like, for real splits. You could push the button. Uh, <laughs> that is not millisecond accurate. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the sound when you kill things is so weird in this version. So that's some um, clam chowder flavored Doritos. I hate clam chowder, but I would probably try those Doritos. Actually, I've never had clam chowder. Just the idea freaks me out. I don't want it. Being from the desert, I haven't had too many clams, but when I lived in Japan, uh, there was a lot of like clam miso soup that I would eat, and it was, it was pretty nice. Yeah, maybe I should have clam chowder. But it is. Uh, you need that heart. <laughs> it's one of those things where you definitely have to get used to it if you didn't grow up with it. And oh yes, we have played BS Zelda. Um, yeah, we played on stream. Yeah. Yeah, we have a, we have an archive of that. Um, Adil was telling me. Um, Adil, someone I work with. He said that he used to have a BS Zelda fan site, and he was telling me that there are actually multiple ROMs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know about that? It's the whole BS Zelda thing is so complicated and crazy, and then the fact that people have hacked it. Oh, don't you and, dare go to get the potion! Yeah, there's like all there's like probably twenty to thirty different hacks and different combinations of hacks. Mm, okay, so which version do we play? I don't know one that worked. <laughs> okay. Hey, you. That one. Yeah, the GameCube uh, version of Twilight Princess was good. Yeah. It was just really weird because the whole map was flipped, like the entire game. And having played the Wii version first, it, um, and then going to play the GameCube one, I was like, whoa, this is too weird. But I got used to it. So after, after I finished the book, and we sent it into the printers on Monday, I'm kind of refusing to look at it again until just now when I showed it to everybody. <laughs> um, I'm so scared that I'll find a mistake in it or like a typo. So it's one of those things where if I don't look, it's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can technically still fix typos, but at this point, It'll it's going to cost money. Yeah, do you remember how much it is per page? I don't remember. Tony couldn't remember either. We were trying to talk about it. I think it, it was $10, $10 or $40 per page. I can't remember. Holy crap, is it that much? I can't, it was one of those two. Let's not make any changes. <laughs> And we do talk about BSL a little bit. In the book. Yeah, just a little bit. Not not a lot because um, the main focus is on Zelda one. Yeah. Well, yeah, the actual Japanese version and the I, English version. So I forgot words. Originally, we were going to do a Zelda one two book, and we still could have done it. Um, I think wouldn't mm -hmm. be, like a Zelda one wouldn't have gotten the attention it got this time around. Yeah. And Zelda two wouldn't be able to get a super lot of attention, and the book would have been. Twice as big, probably. And more rushed than ever. Yeah, so I'm glad that we broke it up. Yeah. Um, after We're going to do Earthbound next. Um, after that, it's kind of like up in the air what we'll do next. Yeah, I can do Mother 3, maybe. Or maybe we can go to Zelda 2. Or if there's a, enough demand, it really depends on what, um, what the readers want. So if you guys have any ideas, uh, buy the book and let us know. Darn it. <laughs> I need to punch a lever. Oh. Um, are you gonna... Are we gonna check fan art? Um, oh yeah, do we have any fan art? I don't know, like... We can. If you, if you uh, tweet it at both of us, then I'll have a better idea, because Matos is actually playing the game. And... Oh, shoot. I just refreshed. We have one from Lucklight, but not from Flash 64. 
Um, but if you send it to both of us, then there's a better chance that I will see it and let Mado know, hey, there's a fan. Yeah, out. like I'm so focused on not even really looking at the chat. Yeah, and send it to Mado too so that he can find you. You guys could really be naked and I wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> there's a secret where fairies don't live. Is, that should be an, a slogan for a place. <laughs> Going to level three. I don't need to do the white sword or white, white are clothes you, yet. Are you gonna do the the trick, with the heart? Yeah, I can't yet. Okay, you can't. Okay. Got a couple right. couple more levels to do. Okay. It's loading. Yep, it's loading. <laughs> that was so cool to hear it clicking and clanking over yeah, there. It's click and clack. Okay, now I'm back. I'm gonna kill you guys in one hit. I like these guys because they usually give you nice items. Yeah, I know that the map was flipped in the Wii version of Twilight Princess because to make Link right-handed, but to me that felt totally blasphemous because Link is left-handed, and it's like don't try to make it easier for babies. So for, for whatever reason, like I didn't quite realize that they had flipped it. But for whatever reason, when I played the Wii version, just the maps were never memorable and they were just felt really awkward to me. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if it's because uh, they weren't designed that way originally. It could be, because actually, um, if you play it the correct way on the GameCube version, they kind of mirror the way the layout was in Ocarina of Time. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, I just realized it's going to be harder to kill these guys. And That's right, Spartanberry. We are going to... Mado's trying to get the flute, so we can check and see which version of the game we have. If it's version like 1.0 or 1.1. Yeah. Yeah. So there's two versions of this game. Um, one of them is the original one, and one is like a bug fix version. The bug fix version one is more common. So I just want to see which one we have. So as for Famicom Disk System games, we have Zelda One. Actually, I think we have two Zelda we have ones. Two Zelda ones. Two, Zel two, two Zelda, Zelda twos, twos, and, and oh, some Metroid is somewhere. In, Metroid. In, in I don't know where closet. it went. <laughs> I'm glad. I, I'm glad this works though. I know it has a new belt too. I made sure to get that it has a new belt in it. Don't use that though to get it, right? Oh no, you can't. You have to use a ladder. Yeah, you gotta use a ladder. That's really confusing because you'd think you could just take a raft over there instead of uh -huh. a ladder. <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't. So, the main difference between the two versions. Um. There's probably all kinds of little internal things that I don't know about because most people probably don't know about because they're not zero and one programmers. But one of the big differences is this heart trick to get a, like kind of like infinite heart containers. Hey, and poop balloons here! Poop balloon. <laughs> you should uh, dress up as a as a balloon filled with poop when you go we, on Halloween. I have a poop hat. Oh yeah. Uh, like, I found, you know the poop emoji? Well, yeah. somebody turned it into a hat, and I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Reluctantly. I wanted it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Japan is weird. <laughs> it's Japan's fault that that exists. Oh, wow. That sounds so crazy. Oh. Yep. Oh! No! I died as it died. Am I gonna get the heart? I, I don't know. This is gonna be... Like, are you gonna go and then, um, it's gonna be dead and you'll have the heart? Already? I don't know. Let's find out. I did that once. In Ocarina of Time, um, I beat Phantom Ganon and then I left without getting the heart piece. And when I went back, the heart piece was still there for me. Okay. I didn't have to fight it again. Yeah, I know in the 3D ones they kind of do that. Like, I died on top of him, so I might have picked it up, but I don't think I did. Have we ever thought about doing a scary game marathon, but with Kuso Get instead of horror games? Is that like ultimate crap games? Yeah, is there like a. a, a you have like some examples? Like Super Monkey Adventure? But that's not, that's not a horror marathon, though, is it? It's scary. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> because it's a bad game. <laughs> Yes, this is the disk system version for reals. We actually legit. have a disk system. This is the first time we're testing it and we're happy it works. Oh, I hear it. Crap. Oh, I'm no bombs. I'm bombless. Crap. 
crap. Well, well I got this guy. <laughs> oh, that scared me. I was like, what is that? Um, one of the things we want to do to help promote the book... Oh, but Poopaloon asks, do we play D&D &D ever? I do sometimes. Aha, hey, you got did it. it! You did it! <laughs> Check it out! Cool. Anyway, one of the cool things we're doing, we're thinking about doing to promote the book, and I hope I can make it happen, is to make a parody commercial of the Zelda 1 rap commercial. <laughs> and I've already been working on the lyrics, and if you don't mind... All right. I'd like to... Well, the rap lyrics I haven't started, but I've done the build-up. Okay, ready? All right. Hang on. Did you see the latest tomato project? Whoa, nice info! I'd like to get my hands on that book. You mean you haven't read it yet? You can buy it at fangamer.com. That's all I got. <laughs> and then it goes... Legends of Localization is really rad. The first books on Zelda, so tell your dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as I got. That's good. And I don't know. <laughs> That's, I don't know if we want to keep in the line about telling your dad. Um, no, I like, I like that because probably most people's dads are the ones who grew up with this. By yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> Crap, I could be a dad. <laughs> and then, and then, then like the rest of the book, we want to talk the song. We want to talk about like what's in the book, and I don't know yet what I should talk about, because there's so much to talk about. Okay, we got people telling their dads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really hoping that, like, we can, uh... Because there's so many Zelda fans out there, but so many probably don't even know about my site, or about Pomeo CX, or anything like that, so if we can somehow get the word out. I'm trying to think of ways to just let people know. Probably make some kind of press kit, maybe. Will there be a Zelda dance to go with it if we do a book on Zelda 3? Well, we can do tier. Like, if, if 5,000 books are sold, um, <laughs> well, I don't know, we'll do something. I don't think that money's ever going to sell, though. Your, the Legends of Localization book. Your parents set it up. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> All right. Uh, Spartanberry said that. That <laughs> was great. I was actually thinking, like, um... Legend of Localization, you know. The, the typical, the stuff at the end would probably be like buy it at fangiver.com because yeah. you actually want people to go there yeah. and buy it. But I like that. Your parents help you set it up. <laughs> um, so what Maybe is. Middle, you're ready to corner the dad market. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What is my next goal besides going to level 4? I'll just go to level 4. Level 4? Which one is the flute? I don't even know. I'm level I still five. don't know Zelda 1 all that well. Even. What? You read the book. <laughs> I don't play the game though. I read the book. <laughs> um, level 4 has the ladder. Level 5 has the flute. That commercial I think is from 1987, Dark Shaft. I'm gonna burn this guy. You. Oops. Do you have arrows? You've got arrows, right? Are those arrows or keys? Those are keys. I always forget where the exact spot is for this. Oh, arrows are money in this game. I forgot. Wink. When I grow up, I'm gonna live under a bush. I'm gonna go to heal up with this fairy here, and then I'm going to go. Wow. Ah. Oh, oh, there's a fairy there. Bye. <laughs> this, this fairy's cuter. She's, she's got land. Now you're reading with power. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> perfect the rap. I like it so far. Tell your dad. Um, there's, there's uh, info and pictures and Buddhism too, yeah. with your help. There's, um, I don't know how to, how to explain this, but because we talk about stuff that gets taken out of, you know, things like that, it can, don't let random people see you reading this book, maybe. You know what I mean? Oh, you know, you know oh, what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's full of just, like, 
stuff that will make people think you're some racist it's, or something. It's full of controversial things, but yeah. that's because... It's covering those topics. Those, yeah. 